So we are on day 11 of the AH and JD situation. And today has been pretty bad for her side. And that's mostly because of Depp's former agent, Sean Bailey. I don't know if he's still his agent or not. I'm going to get into that more, but he pretty much confirmed a few things. One, that the op-ed AH put out pretty much ruined his career. And two, that Pirate 6 was in development and that JD did have a deal that was being worked on. Now, AH's team says that that's not true. That's false. That was never going to happen. But we learned today that that was a lie because this entire case hinges on that. Did she damage his career? And after talking with the agent, it's pretty clear that she did. And that's devastating. I got a couple clips. I'm going to play them for you. Listen to this. Thank you. Um, how, if at all, was the op-ed different from other articles you had read about the Johnny Depp Amber Heard relationship? It, you know, it was a first-person account coming from the victim. Uh, it's extremely impactful. Impactful in a in a good or bad way. For, on, you know, with respect to Johnny, it, it was it was catastrophic because it was coming from, you, you know, uh, a first person account. It was not from a journalist. It was not from someone observing. It was from someone saying this happened to me. Mr. Wiggum, between December 18, 2018, the date of the op-ed and October 2020, did Mr. Depp perform in any studio films? Sorry, could you, could you just repeat the dates? Between December 18th, 2018, which is the date that Ms. Hurd's op-ed appeared, and October 2020, to what extent, if any, did Mr. Depp perform in any studio films? Zero, no studio films. How, if at all, did Ms. Hurd's op-ed impact Mr. Depp's ability to land roles in studio films between December 2018 and October 2020. Objection, Your Honor, calls for hearsay foundation and expert. I'll sustain that objection. Next. Are you near the end, Mr. Chu? I just want to make sure because it's coming up on our morning break. Okay. I, I'm, I have ahead. probably five minutes. Okay. That's good. Go ahead. Uh, what effect, if any, did the op ed have on the release of Minimata, the indie film you mentioned objection, earlier? Objection, Your Honor, calls for hearsay, spec hearsay speculation. He's, and he worked on the approach for a moment. Sure. Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> they do not like this. We found out that there was actually a deal for the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, which they denied before. There was a $22.5 million deal. When you take that and you take the other movie that he lost to Diddy, there's your $50 million bucks right there. And you have his agent and another agent now that have linked that to the op-ed. So that is devastating for her. They're linking it specifically to it. People were asking, too, about the $650 million. He had a business partner group that he worked with 17 years. They stole $650 million from him. What that. happened, Mr. Wiggum, after the op-ed, but before October 2020, with respect to Minimata? So the, the op-ed came out in December, and it was, it was right as we were going on Christmas break, and uh, our Minamata was supposed to start in January, and I, I remember it was very, very difficult to keep Minamata together. The, the financing became shaky. The, the budget had to come down. Johnny's fee came down in order to save the movie. After your outreach to Mr. Bailey, and or strike that, was your outreach to Mr. Bruckheimer and Mr. Bailey successful? Objection leading. I'll allow it. No. I successfully made contact with them, but I was not successful in rescuing pirates for Johnny. Oh, excuse me. Not Sean Bailey. 
Jack Wiggum. So, correction, that was Johnny Depp's agent starting in 2016. So, the reason that this is devastating is because of the fact that, well, they had finished negotiations for Pirates of the Caribbean 6, and if you've been watching, or even just from the clips I showed you, there was one thing that you should have noticed, and that's that this woman right here, sitting next to A.H., is objecting to every single question that his lawyer asks. And why? Why was she doing that? Because they know how devastating this is. They can't have that in the record because it looks bad and proves that that op-ed she put out did impact it. In fact, this was a first-person account coming from a victim. It was extremely impactful in a catastrophic way for Johnny. And it was confirmed that after that op-ed came out, he appeared in zero mainstream films. That's bad. You also saw the clip that he was unable to save Pirate 6. They also talked about Margot Robbie and how Margot Robbie was uh, being, being called up to take the Pirates franchise in a different direction. And that's because, well, they can't use Johnny Depp. They couldn't then. They probably can now because things are going so well for him. But they're not going very well for OAH. If you watched my video this morning, uh, she did fire her PR team over all of the bad headlines. And it's not going to get any better. Now, it will slightly when she takes the stand, which could happen today, the way they're going through witnesses. The rumor was today she was supposed to take the stand. Now, I don't know if that's going to happen. It could happen tomorrow. It could happen Wednesday, but I believe it's going to happen this week. Uh, I will update you as soon as it does happen because it's going to be very interesting testimony. So, I don't know how they recover from this witness. This is a, a good witness to kind of wrap things up for his side of the case. Uh, basically, they're going to go through all of their witnesses, and they're saving the best for last, it would appear. And then Hurd's team will get to take over, and then we'll see where it goes. Uh, that's going to be really interesting, and I'll probably be covering the cross more to catch them because there are going to be a lot of lies, a lot of fibbing when they come around to AH's side of things. But this testimony was damning, damning, because it proves that after that op-ed came out, his career was done. And ladies and gentlemen, that's the main point of this trial. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel. They're usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.